Hey guys, what's happening? So, in one of my last videos, I showed you cutting this aluminum plate from my uh, TFT coil. And it actually cuts out pretty good. Um, you know, this was actually my real true test of cutting aluminum, you know, a thick plate like this. And it actually did great. Actually, I did two of these. But, uh, I did actually have some issues where I had some crazy vibration. And this is actually obviously not a stock 3018, but the 3018 had the exact same issue with this, uh, all this play, like, like that. You know, and the issue is there's not enough, um, of these, uh, what's it called, these linear rail bearings to make it stabilize. And also, like, when it would go up and down, the screw would, would move around like this. So I have too much movement going this way, and too much movement going this way. Like that. So, I designed a new bracket for it. And I was actually going to add some more. Uh, so this would actually help distribute the load a little bit better. So it's going to mount on top of the existing aluminum block. Upload it to my Thingiverse page. But hopefully that's going to give it more rigidity this way and this way. Um, I might have some issues. Actually, my goal originally was to get a bigger 500 watt spindle. But really, the spin spindle's not even the, actually the issue. The, the spindle is able to cut through the... Uh, no problem cutting the aluminum, you know, 1.1 millimeter and 175 millimeters a, a, a minute. So, alright, so I'm going to get the spindle off and see if I can get in there. So yeah, this is what I was talking about. Actually, the it's not the spindle itself, it's actually this cooling head. So, I guess I could have designed it to be notched down, or I could reprint this thing again. Um, but my intention as always was to get a bigger spindle, so. I think this is like 200 watts. So this is better than the stock one that would come with 3018. Like this was a, the whole system was a higher end 3018. Um, with some obviously major mods. Ball screw, containment system, etc. Alright, so. I have to take this off. It's stuck on there. And then, um. Not stuck on there. Um, but that's going to flip around and go around that. But I'll show you that. I got so I'm gonna take a top plate assembly off here, so I can slide this down onto those rails, and that should go right through that. Yeah, I forgot to mention. See, there's a little groove right there. Well, it's designed to keep that snap ring in there. So the snap ring I'm using, um, that way, it actually keeps it retains the uh, bearing in there. So what I'm using this the one that worked was a uh, inside internal 13 sixteenths. So I got like an assorted kit. Maybe I'll put a link down below for the assorted kit. Alright, so now you can kind of see the holes where it lines up. Well, this is designed to slide over like this. Bring it on there. And then, you should lift up. I need to, can't do it with one hand. I gotta pop it up and over, slide it on top of that. Yeah, I tried to make this as tight as possible, but you don't want any sort of play. Here's a side angle. That's where the new bearings are, existing bearings. So it basically gives it more leverage. So yeah, there's no play here anymore. So the only play now is like over here with these things bending, but still, I mean, there was like such crazy wobble this way. Can't even go sideways. It's no longer up and down. So I just had to even out the load here a little bit. So let's see if it's even quieter. I'm not even sure yet. Let's go uh, tool on. Oh yeah, this is even more quiet too. Way more quiet. Um, yeah, just there's less vibration going on here. Look at that, way more quiet. Yeah, if you have a 3018, even like the other ones, those super cheap ones, gotta get more more bearing here, more load distribution. All right, cool. Yeah, it already worked good, so hopefully it's gonna work even better. So, all right, yeah. cool.